Okay, so another really big fight that's happening this weekend uh, sees Brandon Rios going up against Mike Alvarado. This fight is for the vacant WBO Latino Light Welterweight title, but it's also a WBO title eliminator. Brandon Rios, question, outside question, he's moving up in weight for this fight from lightweight to uh, light welterweight. How is that going to affect him? Will it work in his favour? Will it allow him to... Uh, come in at a weight he's more comfortable at, rather than draining himself so much? Or will he find um, that slight strength increase uh, of Alvarado, who's been fighting at this weight for a while, uh, will it be a bit of a shock to him? Will it you know, overtake him? That That's just a slight question. I, I personally think he'll be fine at the weight. I think that uh, it's the best thing for him to keep the move up. It's not good to keep draining yourself and rather fighters fight at the weight they're meant to be at. Um, so this is a step in the right direction for him. I actually think uh, Brandon Rios wins this fight, and I'm going to go for a stoppage by TKO in the 11th round. You see, both of these guys are not really one-punch knockout artists, really. I, w I wouldn't say. I don't think, it, or in this fight anyway, it's not going to be a one-punch knockout. I think it's more of a, it's going to be a war of attrition, and it's going to be a, more of like a TKO against the ropes. Um, it's, I don't think it's going to be, you know, like an to the nail who can stop you with one punch. These guys work on attrition. They, they wear you down and break you down. So, <coughs> this is the thing. I think Alvarado is the better mover. I think he's got slightly better mobility and slightly more... He's not in that shell that Rios is in. He's slightly more fluid in his work. And if this is at mid-range, which I believe he's going to start off at, I think Alvarado has a distinct advantage. And I think he may pick up the, the early rounds in this fight, Alvarado because of his movement, that movement factor, and slightly more fluid um, ability at a distance. However, I believe that this fight will, is, is inevitably going to move to the inside, and that's where Brandon Rios lives. Alvarado loves it there too. Like I said, both of these guys fight that way, but I feel that it will suit Rios, or he'll bring it more on level terms, rather than if this fight was at a mid-range, because then like there I think Alvarado has the advantage. Um, if you watched Alvarado against Herrera, he was able to get on top of Herrera because of the, um, Herrera was slightly smaller than him and Herrera wasn't really the type of, re type of fighter Rios is. Rios is going to be inside with his guard up, okay? Um, yeah, he's going to take, be taking shots, but he's got the guard up and he, he's in that shell. Herrera tried to be sort of inside but tried to be cute with it, so he was not really, you know, always guarding himself and he was getting caught by Alvarado. But at the same time, he was obviously giving Alvarado some some difficulties with that movement and with his um, his skill and skills um, coming off the back of that. So I think it starts at mid range. I think Alvarado may take the first, you know, first couple to a few rounds, um, or definitely be competitive um, and up on the scorecards. But then I think it's going to get it's going to be drawn into a close fight, and I think that Rios will start doing his better his best work. And I think both of these guys pick them, you know. These guys are just going to be going at it, balls to the wall. Um, it, you know, Rios struggles against guys who are real good movers. Guys like Richard Abreel, you know, world-class movers. Um, a guy like Robert Guerrero, for example. Someone who, who's who got um, power to to keep you up, not keep you up, but power to, to, to do some damage of their own. But also really good movers around the ring, make you chase, frustrate you, yeah. I don't think Alvarado's not that fighter. Well, I do feel he's a bit better than Rios at distance. He's not the type of fighter who's going to be dancing around the ring all night. He's also a kind of very come forward pressure fighter. So both of these guys are going to want to. They're going to be hit, knocking heads, okay? And it's going to be a very close fight. I just think it's going to turn into a simple war of attrition. Forget technique. Forget all of this other stuff. It's a war of attrition. Two guys going at it, and I just have to go off what I've seen. Brandon Rios has never come off on the bad side of a war of attrition. He's always won. He's always been too much for his opponent. You could say the same for Alvarado, but I don't think Alvarado has fought um, quite as high a level of opposition as Rios had, has. I think Rios has been at world level, and he's been a world champion, um, and he's fought higher competition for longer than Alvarado has. Um, now, this is really quite a pick and fight, because Alvarado, like I said, He's, he has some skills and he's a bit more fluid than Rios. But once this fight goes inside and it becomes a bit more basic, I think that Rios will find his home there, set out his stall, and he'll work a war of attrition on Alvarado 
I think he's going to get the TKO in the 11th round. But I have a sneaky feeling that this, while everyone thinks it's going to be a stoppage here in this fight because of the type of fighters they are, I have this weird feeling that it could very well go the distance. Because both of these guys can take a punch. And by the time that attrition starts, there may not be enough time for it, them to be worn down enough. But you know, we saw Brandon Rios against like, the likes of John Murray, who was very in his face, very, very come forward as well. And Rios just has this knack of winning these wars. And I think he's going to win this war. I think he gets the stoppage in the 11th round. <coughs> very good fight. Definitely be watching it. Let me know what you think, guys, because I know there's, con there's uh, contrasting opinions on this. Some people really think um, Alvarado's going to do this. I really think it's a close fight, um, and I'm just picking it off uh, what I've seen in the past, and I've got to gotta stick with Rios in this one. Um, I think he's hunger and desire will bloom through. Thanks for watching.